where darkness rings We've got the power to fight back We save the day, united by this world We can become more than you know The heart will lead the way to what we can control I'm becoming impatient for good news. I found an inversion point between Meridian and this Earth bookstore. The store will provide the perfect cover for searching for the girl. Once my sister's identified, we must slowly and carefully bring her into our confidence, and then right into our trap. I think you'll find that you appreciate the time you've spent this term studying uh, the uh, uh, the study of uh... the origins of myth. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, now your midterm essays. Yeah. Oh. Uh, some of you uh, performed better than I expected, while others failed to perform at all. I lost consciousness somewhere around Zeus's third wife. Are you sure this is mine? It's my terrible handwriting. I got a B! That means I can get a D on the next one and still pass! Yes, yes, yes! No way! Me too! Drani, see me after class. Oh, I don't know. What do you recommend? That you hurry up? I've got other customers. Waiter, my wife asked for water with no ice? Then tell her to wait until it melts. You people wouldn't last a day in Meridian. What's Meridian? I think it's one of those fancy places downtown. What's the Szechuan chicken like? It's like this, but there's more of it. Ah, uh, Caleb! I think we can spare you from out front for a few minutes. Suits me. Are they always like this? I'm very disappointed that you failed to turn in an essay. That I what? Well, if you couldn't finish in time, you should have asked for, uh, you know, one of those things you ask for when you can't finish. But, but I turned it in a day early. It was on Theseus and the Minotaur. An extension! It's on my computer. I can email it to you the second I get home. A deadline's a deadline, miss. Uh, anyway, you get an F on this paper. I don't know how it do it. All I know is this machine will make identical maps of Phobos Castle for all my field commanders. After I finish copying today's yummy shrimp specials. <laughs> What's the matter? Too big to steal? <laughs> it 
If Professor Collins wasn't the beast that we know is living in Heatherfield in disguise, who is? The mage said all you have to do to reveal a beast in human form is touch it with the heart of Kandrakar. Well, I can't go around the city touching everyone with a crystal. I can't believe he lost my essay. Tarani, we all grieve for your loss, but the world's been invaded by monsters. Focus! He's looking for one of us. We don't know that. Please, he comes here, he's searching for a girl our age. What do you think he wants? A babysitter? What if one of us is his secret evil granddaughter? I saw that in a movie one time, the girl was like Mondo Creed. He lost it. That's the only explanation. Oh. Hey guys, Will's got extra math homework, you're gonna have to say goodbye. Mom, Mrs. Rudolph didn't give me extra homework. No, I did. After reading your midterm report. Help me. Okay, the little straight line between two numbers means you subtract. Why this bookstore? Why can't we get our study guides at the mall or the school library? Because the mall bookstore doesn't have a tall, hunky manager. With jet black eyes and a devilish smile. Maybe if I retrace Puddington's steps, I'll find it in a bush or something. Or on the curb. I thought I saw some papers over there. Hi! <laughs> um, where are the middle school textbooks? All over, I'm afraid. There's more in the back. I'm still getting organized. Oh, me too. <laughs> I'm Cornelia. Elion Brown. Hi. Rick Hoffman. Uh, sorry about the mess. It's taking me a while to sort everything out. I know exactly how that is. <sighs> Old store, new flies. <laughs> I'd better go look for my history book. Like, that's gonna do me any good. The Middle Ages are so last week. <laughs> Cornelia is my best friend. His little ponytail is so cute. <gasps> Corny, look at the lettering on this book. Oh. I told you to stop calling me. It's the Meridian Graffiti! I wonder if the writing's the same inside. Huh? Girls, and no girls. Guys! Cornelia? equals x equals oh 12 so the correct answer of course is x equals y squared that's not even math it's spelling hey do you have math in frog world you need it to keep track of 100,000 kids <laughs> of course most of them are eaten by ducks oh, did you guys just feel something bored i felt it um, was this aisle as big as this when we walked in? Uh-oh, I broke the bookstore. All I did was touch this. <laughs> I know this is a lousy cliche, but let's get out of here! <gasps> wow, he renovated fast. This is not our world. Oh, no! Everybody back up. Take two right turns. Why? Because we just made two left turns. Oh, 
it's a labyrinth. Like Theseus and the Minotaur. I gotta be on that. Shish, she's being smart. We can't just stand here. But we're gonna get lost unless we have something to lead us back. Um, Cornelia, give me your sweater. How are we gonna find our way back by leaving my sweater behind? Oh, no. No, 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 no. We can't. Not my sweater. And the square root of the boring part is equal to the sum of the boring tedious. Must be an inversion point. To Blanc, it would seem as if the girls just disappeared. Does it work both ways? Can I get back? It depends what's on the other side. Without you and the heart, they have no powers. This stick has been dropped on the floor. How could she possibly know I did that? Caleb, there's trouble. Girls? <laughs> no girls. those nights on a hand-carved cedar sweater hanger for nothing. What did that Theseus guy find at the end of his maze anyway? A murderous monster with the head of a bull. <gasps> Where in the bookstore? Blunk said in the back. Where? Nowhere, that's problem. Where were there no girls? Everywhere, no girls. I just felt... Look oh, this way, then that way, then... Ah! No, Caleb! I say that way. Uh-uh. We went that way. And this way. I think a guy who'd read all these books would be teaching evil by now. What do you think's on the other end of this? My guess? A very unhappy Cornelia. Guardians, wherever you are, let me find you safe. Leader. The others must be near. Send out the tracker. This is wonderful food. I'm afraid we can't eat it all. 
Once you told us you were the guardians, everybody brought something. Um, why did you come all the way here from Earth in human form? Well, believe it or not, we were looking for a history book. Mm, let me refill your drinks. Why isn't anyone else eating? Uh, hey, Lynn. I think this may be all the food they have. Kind of puts a lost essay into perspective. When Phobos took the throne, a light went out over this land. Our men are jailed, our crops are stolen, we have no security. Nothing for ourselves, but our dreams. I hear things working in the castle. They say Phobos has a sister on the other side. Could this be true? What? A sister? The true heir to the throne. They say she doesn't know her identity, or even that she was not born on Earth. You still think it's one of us? If only you could find her first. For years we've suffered under Phobos, forced to work for a pittance in his castle, his stables, his mines. We always have hope, but sometimes I fear we hope in vain. We'll find the true heir and bring her back here. We promise you. I don't get it, though. Why would Phobos look for someone who might replace him? <laughs> that is so not what I wanted to see. The tracker, run! <laughs> Lover all the way from the castle. Look out!
lift to the nearest portal? Thanks, I'll walk. We met some villagers. They got us out of the castle. I can't stop thinking about how horrible their lives are under Phobos. They gave us their own food. They're good people. Don't worry. In the days ahead, you have plenty of chances to repay them. Hey, hey, Cornelia! Where'd you go yesterday? You just left me in that store. Oh, Elion, I am so sorry. My mind was in another world. You've been doing this a lot lately. Are we best friends or what? Of course we are. Come on, let me buy you a donut. You know I don't eat donuts. Yeah, but there's a really cute guy serving. Oh, wait up! I apologize. For, for what? Making such a big deal out of a silly essay and asking the principal to suspend you without pay. Well, I apologize for putting your essay in my fridge and bringing a pound of ham to school. <laughs> Here. <laughs> A perfect paper. Your description of the labyrinth, it's, it's almost as if you were there. Yeah, almost. Have you had a chance to look at the menu? Ah! Ugh. Ugh.